Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Kelly Ritter, and I am a product marketing manager here at Dormacaba for the RCI and Keyscan products. Uh, so excited to have you guys here today. Thank you so much for the opportunity to bring you this presentation of our new RCI YD30 series of locks. Uh, to demonstrate the features of these game-changing new locks and to answer any questions you may have at the end of today's presentation, I am happy to introduce to you our subject matter expert, Sketch Mohan. Sketch, I'm going to throw it over to you to get us started. Thanks, Kelly. Good afternoon, everyone. So what we're going to go through today is a quick introduction of the game-changing YD30 sold through Dormacaba RCI. We're going to go through the two different locks, we're going to go through the um, problems that it solves in the industry, where it's used, the installation, some of the benefits, technical specifications, and then finally we're going to finish with some Q&A. This is the YD30. These are low voltage motor driven locks that solve two problems in the industry that up until this day have not been solved. The first is the ability to realign a misaligned door up to 5 sixteenths of an inch. The second is to release when requested, even under significant side load. We've tested this at 1,350 pounds of force. The lock opens every time. Here we have the YD double and the YD single. The double is used for doors that are 180 degrees or double acting doors. This, um, with the pivot action of the bolt pins will allow you to pull a door into alignment up to 16 millimeters, which is eight millimeters or five sixteenths of an inch to the front and to the back. The YD single, the YD30 single will do up to five sixteenths of an inch on a 90 degree door. They use um, a collapsible mechanism that is dead bolted when locked, but will release when activated. So these are the two problems that this lock solves. It solves the door misalignment of up to 16 millimeters. It'll keep your premise secure. It's agnostic to any access control panel. It also will release when requested, even under significant pressure. We've tested it at thir more than 1,300 pounds, and the door opens every time. So where is the YD30 used? We use them in healthcare. We use them in government facilities. We use them in airports, including McCarran. We use them in schools, recreational facilities, commercial, and retail. Once again, this is an agnostic lock. It is compatible with all access control systems. This is a video animation I'm going to show. I'll be talking over it just so you guys can get an idea of how this revolutionary game-changing lock works. So this is a blowout of the lock, shows uh, this is a double here. You'll be able to see as it, pull, as it uh, pulls in after the demonstration on the 90 degree door and the 180 degree door that the premise is going to be secure and the door is going to open every time. Again, this is the only lock in the industry that has the misalignment correction. Up to 5 sixteenths of an inch, it'll pull it in. You can see here, here are the pins as they pull the door back into alignment and then lock the door. We engineer this for safety. Again, with a significant side load or pre-pressure on the door, it's going to open when the button is pushed. The lock comes with door position and bolt position in the box. This is probably the most popular application we're showing right here. This is a side mount of the lock and the catch plate. We're going to side mount it to a glass door and then run power um, through the ceiling. This is going to give you access control to a glass door. Again, like I said, door position and bolt position are standard feedback to any access control panel. I'm going to do a demonstration really quick where I'm going to show you guys actually the lock in action. This right here, this is the uh, YD30 single. As you can see, the door gets within 5 sixteenths of an inch, pulls the door back into alignment. 
no matter how hard I push on the door, the door is going to open every time. This eliminates the wind rattle or any issues that you would have with the door being out of alignment. The benefit to an installer is that you don't have to go out and rehang doors that fall out of alignment due to poor hangs, shifting soil, or if you have issues with the other lock. This lock right here, this is the double. This would be for a double door, 5 16 of an inch on either side. It's still going to pull that lock into alignment and still going to lock the door. So this is the same on the back of the lock right here. So this is the actual footprint of the lock. As you can see, it's relatively small. This lock has 2,250 pounds of hold force compared to 1,500 pounds of a mag lock. It also is field selectable. So you can see right here, here's the switch where uh, at install you can choose if it's going to be fail safe or fail secure. This right here is the mounting. This is mounted to a plexi just to show how a glass mounting would work. On the back you can see the 3M tape along with the uh, dress plate for that clean installation. After adhering, the lock goes in like this and now you have access control on a glass door. We also mortise these into the head and then you would put the catch plate on the bottom and it would give you that same access control and that same holding strength on this door as well. So here are some use cases. This is a pair of external double acting glass doors. Um, this is a very popular retail chain. They uh, mortise the locks into the header, then they put the catch plates into the door. This gives access control to um, this retailer on a national level. This is a pair of wooden double acting doors in a boutique hotel. These had mag locks up there that they were using as a door stop for the door. By removing them, they mortise this into the header. Now it gives it that nice clean look and it gives them access control. This is a heavy duty door where the alignment issue is still solved by this lock. This is the application that I think this lock is going to do very well with in the United States, and that's for glass. These are single acting glass doors of the same construction. As you can see the, on the left hand side of the picture, we've uh, mounted the catch plate and the lock. We ran the electricity into the frame. On the right side, that's the hinge, so it looks almost like a hinge on both sides. Architects love this because this gives the opportunity to choose whatever door handle they want. Um, and they still have that access control. This is an install that was done in uh, Texas. On the right hand side is our lock. The left hand side is a standard mag lock. They took this lock and they mortised it into the frame and then put the catch plate in this housing on the glass. The reason why they went with this lock is a traditional mag lock is going to cost about $1,000 a year in electricity. Our lock uses 95% electricity, so that lock uh, is going to cost about $90 to run for a year. After this single installation, the customer is going to go ahead and, and put in more than 100 of these to replace mag locks, which is an energy saving of almost $100,000. That's the immediate return on investment besides the extra strength and um, the aesthetic look of this lock. This is a, another great application. We use this, this is an oversized external single acting aluminum door. It's on a bay. Their issue that we solved here was the door was not pulling into alignment because the door was too heavy. Along with the wind and water coming off the bay was blowing the door open, getting water inside of the facility. By putting a weather strip here and mortising this into the head, the door gets pulled into alignment, creates a nice clean seal that they no longer have to worry about their um, water or wind or anything blowing the door out of alignment. So the installation for the YD30, it, what makes this lock another feature interesting is the fact that it can be surface mounted or mortise mounted. It comes with tabs to make installation quicker. You can also do a combo mount where you mount partly in the mortise and partly in the side mount as well. Once again, like I said, this thing offers continuous feedback to the access control system. We build our locks with a capacitor in them. 
So what that means is that every 24 hours, it sends back a health report to the control panel, which shows the health of the lock. The lock is a tier one rated lock, which means it's good for one million cycles. It's low current draw makes it a preferred choice for people that are echo conscious, like I said, a 95% energy savings. With the user selectable fail safe and fail secure, um, the, it, this is one lock that you can use on a full job site where you can switch it to suit your needs. And then once again, like I said, easily um, accessible with any access control system. The key benefits again, like I said, the uh, high security, 2,250 pounds of hold force, along with the ability to open under significant side load of 1,350 pounds is unparalleled in the industry. There is no lock that will solve the door misalignment issue other than the YD30. Like I said, it's tested for endurance of over a million cycles. It's going to release every time when you push the button, like I said, 1,350 pounds. It's perfect for every type of door, glass, metal, and wood. Again, just to touch on a cost savings besides the electricity, is the fail safe and fail secure mode. With one lock, you can choose at the job site if you're going to have fail safe or fail secure. The other unique selling points, it's a seamless security at all the time, every time. It's unlimited and unparalleled installation options. Again, glass is probably the best application where we've seen success with this. But anywhere you want to put in uh, an electric strike or somewhere that you'd like to replace a mag lock, this is the lock for that application. And again, any access control system can control this lock. It is a standard. Uh, 1224 plus or minus 15 percent. It wires in just like any other access control lock. Again, guaranteeing safe egress with fire rating as selectable fail safe. The side load pressure is an additional benefit that fire marshals are looking for. Here's this uh, tech specifications. Once again, the 2,250 pounds of strength for holding, the 1,300 pounds of side load release. Um, it has all the CE compliance, UL certifications, and then once again, the fact it is the only lock in the industry that will realign a misaligned door. Here are the dimensions. I showed the lock uh, previously, so you can see it. It's smaller than a mini mag lock. Um, here are the single dimensions. This also is available if you'd like this uh, white sheet sent to you. So frequently asked questions, typically where it would be installed, we've installed this virtually everywhere. With the side housing, you can side mount this directly onto any door and frame. The housings are specifically designed to attach to glass, aluminum, wood, steel, also retrofitting where necessary. Once again, like I said, low voltage at 1224 with plus or minus 15%. Another question is, can it be used on exterior doors? Yes. So from coastal hotel lobbies to uh, an entrance at a New York apartment building, this lock is in uh, deployment all over the world. Fail safe, fail secure, selectable is important. Again, it cuts down on what you have to store in your truck. Or if you get to a job site and decide you need to change from fail safe to fail secure, you can do it right at the lock. You don't need to go and buy a different lock for that. If you have any, uh, for more information, or if you'd like an in-person demo, contact your local Dormacaba RCI sales rep. If you don't know who that is, email kelly.ritter at dormacaba.com to be directed to them. When you get in touch with them, we're having a box buy program. For a limited time, save 10% when you purchase a box of YD30 locks. Minimum quantities are required. Are there any questions? Yeah, this is where we will open up the Q&A. So if we have anybody who has questions, there is a Q&A feature in Teams. So we would definitely prefer you guys to use that. The chat function will work. I'll look at both of them. But we'll give you um, some time real quick to type in some questions if you have any. Um, and we are happy to answer those now. So feel free to type those in. 
Um, let's see. Okay, sketch, when it says releasing under side load, can you explain side load? Yes, certainly. So when doors get hung, what happens is either via misalignment or if uh, you have an HVAC system that blows on the door, it applies pressure to the door. Um, in an emergency situation, picture myself slamming into the door to try to open the door. My 210 pound frame would be 200 pounds of pressure against the door. Typically, a door is, does not open because the lock or the mechanism binds. So our locks, we specifically designed them to open under that side load up to 1,350 pounds. We do have another question. Can these locks with housings be used on a gate? Um, absolutely, we have used them on gates before. Um, we do offer some other locks that are uh, IP67 rated, but this has, we have used this for that application. Okay. okay. And if there are any other questions, um, how long is a typical installation? How long does it take? So the install in Houston, including cutting into the header to install, was less than 30 minutes. It is truly, you can truly retrofit in that uh, instance where I showed that they took uh, an old mag lock off the door and they put that lock up and he said that if it wasn't for the cutting, they would have been done in five minutes. It's very simple to install. Okay. Any other questions from anyone? Will other faceplate finishes be available soon? Yes, so currently we only make it in the stainless steel. If you have an additional color, we actually are doing a project in New York City where they've asked that the faceplates and housings be uh, gold coder powdered. It is something that we can do. Just uh, reach out to Kelly or your local RCI uh, rep and then we can work on that project for you. Okay, and we've got some more questions. Uh, is it in stock? Absolutely. So uh, one of the things that we pride ourselves on is that this lock is currently uh, plentifully in stock wherever you buy your RCI products in America. You, this is you know, available today. Okay. And price range? Um, you know what? The price range is going to be based on you know the distributor and stuff. I, I, I really couldn't speak to it. I said that it's probably you know MSRP. It's probably 850. So whatever your discount is off on 850 or MSRP, I would use that. Or contact your local distrib your low voltage distributor. Okay. And then, do you have literature available for sales visits? Yes, Absolutely. So as a subject matter expert for Dormacaba, I'm available personally. I can come and do sales visits with you. I also do have literature that Dormacaba can produce for you as well. Uh, this video will also be recorded, and you'll be able to point people to this video as well. Okay, and which team from Dormacaba will be supporting these locks? I'll, I'll address that. Um, the, anyone, anyone in the EAD DHW division of Dormacaba, the Hardware and Electronic Access Control Division, um, that supports RCI will be supporting these locks. So we have rep firms in the field that represent Dormacaba for RCI. Uh, we also have direct sales reps, end user consultants, um, distribution development managers out in the field that support these as well. So anyone you would typically call to support the RCI product line would be the person you would want to call to, to support you with these locks. And let's see, are there any other questions? How do we go about getting samples? So there, if you're wanting samples of the boxed product, um, you would want to contact your RCI sales rep. So whether that's your rep firm rep or your direct um, Dormacaba rep, you would contact them directly about getting samples. If you're looking for a demo, such as what uh, Sketch has in front of him right now, uh, the mounted display demos, um, those are orderable. I do not have the cost in front of me, so you'll want to talk to your sales rep about that as well. But you are able to get one of these functioning demos that uh, Sketch used in his presentation today. And the sales cut sheet is under RCI, yes. Uh, actually, I believe the sales cut sheet is available on our website right now. So if you go to the Dormacaba website and type in YD30, um, you will find the product page. And under the download section towards the bottom, you'll find the brochure spec sheet. I think the installation instructions are on there. So you'll be able to find a lot of um, 
collateral or literature to go along with that. Um, and we are working on more to help support the sales of these locks as well. So keep uh, your eyes open for those. And I'm sure that the sales reps in the field, as soon as they have access to them, can send those to you as well. Uh, let's see, some more questions coming through the chat. Uh, is there any YouTube video showing installations on various doors? So that's something we're working on right now. So just so you all know, we've been selling locks, this lock specifically, in uh, Europe for the past seven years. We were just waiting to make it uh, to pass one million cycles and give it that extra 600 pounds of holding force before it was released in America on September 1st. Uh, we do have some installation videos out there. Reach out to your local RCI person and they should be able to provide those for you. Yeah. Uh, voltage question, is the 12 or 24 volt selectable or self-sensing? It's self-sensing. And we mentioned the MSRP for the YD30S starting at 850. Uh, the list price for the, or the MSRP list price for the YD30D. I do not remember off the top of my head, I'm so sorry. Um, I'll look that up while we go to the next question. Uh, does this have to be installed as if it's a mag lock with a motion detector and button? So in other, in other words, let's talk about the egress piece of that. So it's based on your local, what your local ordinance is um, as far as needing the, as the egress question. In Europe, we use single paddle or a button to open. Um, you would need to check with your local municipality to ask uh, in regards to the exit requirement. Okay. Uh, and the MSRP cost for the YD30D is 1270 so $1,270. Uh, next question, how can you use it as fail secure if there is no bypass ability if the power fails? So how would you use it as fail secure if there's no power bypass? So because this uses so little energy, with a five amp battery backup, you would have six days where the lock would still function. So any battery backup would allow you the ability in a power failure to still be able to exit the building. And there's a capacitor built into it that there is a capacitor some like charge I said. for uh -huh. power failure Correct. instances. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna check for some more questions just to make sure we've caught everything. Uh, let's see. Is there a mechanical latch release in the event of when the lock is set at fail secure and there is a power loss at the lock? Uh, example: wire short close to lock. Um, currently, that's something that you have to add additionally. It's not something that's built into the lock. The lock is consistently under development. We add new things as long as people request them. But uh, as far as for that instance, that would be something, a timer, paddle, something you would have to add additionally. It does have um, the board inside the lock does allow you the opportunity to attach things like a, like a timer to it or a paddle or some form of charge to get it to open. And can this be used with a key bypass? Currently, that is in development now. Okay. Available finishes right now? So currently, the only available finish, like I said, is the 626. Um, we will customize it. If you need something specifically for a project, reach out to your local RCI rep. We are uh, happy to manufacture this and whatever you need to suit your customer's need. Is it UL listed? Yes, it is. That's one of the things that we waited before we released it in the United States. It does have full UL listing. Okay. Let's see. I think that might be all of our questions so far. So I'll give another little bit to anyone who may have some additional questions. I think that's addressed everything in the Q&A and in the chat. Oh, I missed that one. Uh, does it have a scan code? I do not see that question. Where is that So the lock actually does have a, a QR code on the side of it. This is if your installer happens to be in um, on the job site and is looking to scan an instruction manual, as you can see right there. there it does have a QR code. Okay. Oh, now I see it. Okay. 
Yeah, these have been really great questions, you guys. Thank you for those. Um, is it only UL when it's in fail-safe mode? No, full UL certification. Okay, full UL certification. And again, keep in mind, um, if you guys uh, don't know your RCI sales rep, if you haven't met them yet, um, feel free to shoot me an email, kelly.ritter at dormacaba.com, and I am more than happy to route you to the sales rep for your area. Uh, if you've got questions for Sketch after the fact, feel free to, to shoot me an email and we'll make sure to get you in touch with Sketch. But definitely these are supported in the field by your RCI, Dormacaba RCI sales rep, so feel free to reach out to them. Um, we've got information on our website. There's a product page. Uh, these are available in shipping from Dormacaba now. So uh, your, obviously RCI is sold through wholesale distribution, um, so or Dormacaba RCI resellers. So check with your... Um, distributor or reseller for the RCI product. You can get your exact cost from your distributor. If they don't have stock yet, um, I know a lot of distribution um, partners are working on bringing inventory in, but if they don't have the stock yet, we do have it on hand at Dormacaba, so the turnaround time would be quick. So feel free to shoot us any questions you have after the fact. Reach out to your RCI sales rep for more information, and thank you so much for joining us today. And happy selling. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everybody.